Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Big game breakdown continues here on Sportsbit Weekend Preview Edition. That means we're looking ahead to some of the big marquee matchups in college hoops over the weekend. How about Sunday? Florida State and Miami. Let's call it the Sportsbit estimated line. Hurricanes minus two and a half at home, 146. I wouldn't be surprised if the markets adjust a little bit more towards Miami and we see something more in the three or three and a half range. Recent series history shows competitive games between these two teams. Uh, Last year, Florida State uh, got the better of it. Uh, Miami got the better of it in 2016, the year before they split. So you say, this is a major in-state rivalry, right? Not so much. Not in the basketball court. And when you talk about what these two teams have been through over the course of the last week, The rivalry may not be the issue here. The issue may be energy and enthusiasm for one of these two squads. Florida State over the last week went to Duke. They led late in the second half. They lost that game by seven. They came home and had a huge win against North Carolina, uh, the game that we were just talking about moments ago, uh, where Joel Berry passed up or took the uh, shot at the end of passing up an open teammate. So you're coming off a tight loss to Duke and a tight, tight, tight win against North Carolina. Is this exhale time (laughs) for the Seminoles? Meanwhile, for Miami, what'd they do? They had a big win against Pitt. No big deal. And they lost at Georgia Tech. So they're coming off a loss. Returning home, an elite team after facing two lesser foes. From an energy and focus standpoint, this is advantage Miami. Make no mistake about it. Now, Florida State matched up really well against both Duke and North Carolina. Why? The Seminoles have depth. And they have athleticism. When you have depth and athleticism, teams like Duke and North Carolina don't bother you as much. You can run in the open court. You can hang with those guys. They have so much depth, no player on the team averages even 29 minutes. You know, Terrence Mann uh, has the most minutes. He's at 28. <clears throat> Three different players score more than 13 points. Mann, the leader. At 14.8, this is a very balanced squad, a very deep squad. The question, though, can Florida State play slow if they have to? Look at this graphic. Great info from our stats guy, man. Florida State offense, number 23 in possession length. They want to shoot quick. Miami's defense doesn't allow a whole lot of quick shots. Certainly no fast breaks. Number 326 in pace. That's a concern for Florida State in this one. If they get frustrated pace-wise, it's not going to help when it comes to energy and focus. Miami, look, they're number six in the country in defensive efficiency. They've got good size, you know. Uh, you got the six, well, he's almost seven-footer, uh, Dewan Huell inside. No one on the team is shorter than 6'3", so their starters at the guard positions uh, aren't getting towered over. And look at the numbers. They're great against two-point shots. They're great against three-point shots. This is a really quality defense. And, of course, offensively, Miami with plenty of balance. Four players in double digits. The sophomore, Bruce Brown, grown into a playmaker. Six foot five inches. He leads the team in assists. He's the key player, in my mind, for Miami in this ballgame. He did not play well in the loss at Georgia Tech. The offense died in that ballgame. 37% shooting, 21% from beyond the arc. They had 18 turnovers. Jim Laranega, coach I like off a loss, quote, a comedy of errors, I would say. That's not good basketball. When the game is on the line, you need to take care of the ball. You can't be turning it over. Frankly, if Miami comes short, two and a half, two, three, Hurricanes might be one of the better bets on the board that you'll find on Sunday. Best of luck all weekend. We back on Monday. Talk about the NFL wild card shenanigans. Take a look ahead at the opening lines for divisional round. And of course, All the big game breakdowns you expect. We'll have more national championship talk. All of that on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the games. Best of luck. From Sportsbit. Betting insight today at SBRPicks.com. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.